Hey guys, this week's get to know you question is uh, tell us a time in your life when kindness prevailed. This is a good question. I'll go first. Um, so uh, I actually uh, I want to play uh, Smite. Uh, this game called Smite. Uh, it's an MMORPG game, and uh, usually it is a uh, like it can be a, a toxic community. And smiting and, someone uh, down doesn't sound like a very kind thing to do, does it? Yeah, uh, it's a game of uh, you know like. Like where you play with characters, uh, so uh, you know it's just a game. So you like you don't have to worry about those things. Uh, and anyway, so uh, in that game, uh, we we had a good game. Our uh, our team won, and then uh, right after uh, we sort of like uh, put together where we can chat for a few uh, minutes, but we can also see the statistics of the game. And at that point, uh, they were you know like uh, like essentially you know, like uh, saying a lot of uh, bad things. I can't really say uh, in this video. and uh-huh. uh, not a very kind thing either man yeah and uh, like when they were saying that uh, like my friend uh, what he did was you know like yeah but like uh, you know you can do this to make it work and like uh, it's it's like he didn't even understand the words that they were they were saying cuz he was like in a completely different trap and then you know i as said yeah do that kill him with the kindness and then you know, like uh, i i start doing that and i actually put those comments that uh, you know they didn't say anything after this uh, like uh, they were there in the thing for like one more minute and then they just left which to me felt like I made them speechless, uh, the two of us. So that's one that's nice. uh, kind, of, kind of reward. Okay, I can think of an example. So in 2017, I was hospitalized for, I'm not going to say what, but something. Uh, it, it was when I was in the university and I suddenly, uh, my whole body started shaking and uh, it, like I couldn't stand and everything. And I found that uh, the people next to me, they were able to, uh call an ambulance uh, get me there in time and uh, i was able to come back home almost perfectly fine in 3 days so if it if it weren't for them I, i think things might have been a lot harder for me and obviously it was not a situation where they had any obligation to help me so kindness did prevail there the act of kindness that i have in mind is uh, the great flooding of the 24th century that happened in chennai so i don't remember the year so you but you guys can google that out doesn't matter but what matters is how a group of people got together willfully and helped my granda where in in his uh, street so you had the flooding that happened and then it was all he was on the uh, ground floor so pretty much pretty much almost to the neck level or uh, right about the waist to neck so that was the range uh, uh, where uh, up to which you had the water uh, levels rise so and the during so the my granddad and my grandma they were safe on the first floor and they had uh, enough uh, shelter so the what i'm talking about is the aftermath where they had to the where the when the water dispersed and you had the people coming in uh to clean the place so you had the local sanitation workers come in and it's a really really tough job when there's a flooding happening right it's a tough job period on a normal day it's a really really tough job during a pandemic now and it's a really really tough job uh during the aftermath of any disaster so they had come in and they were uh really kind of i mean you can't you can't it's very very you would very very a cold person if you just say it's their job i'm not going to give them any extra money cuz it's just their job and they're here to do their job right and that was the attitude of people there like they were doing all that extra work getting all that nasty clothes out and it stinks it's filled with bacteria it's filled with nasty stuff and no one in that colony uh or maybe there were a few people i don't remember the exact details but there were a few people who came forward uh, along with my granddad who gave them uh you know extra money or or food or or something that is of value to them and they were very very happy when they received that and then they said uh well more than this money the fact that you called up and talked to me and said well what's happening and what's going on and the affection or care or the two minutes of time that people took in talking to them was almost equal to the remuneration they received so remuneration is good but also sometimes talking is also good
right? Talking is even better sometimes. So just these two things happened during that flooding event. I'm sure it happens at every country, every state when there is a wildfire or things. But yeah, talking to people helps. That's a lovely story. That's, that's my story. Dignity of labor. Yeah. Um, well, the story I can share, it's, I don't know if it's uh, necessarily, I mean, it's definitely a kind of story, but I wonder if it's more of a bystander um, intervention story. But we were going somewhere. I do not remember where. I was young, probably like 10 years old around there. And we saw an accident where someone had fallen off their scooter and kind of like they were going fast, got hit, fell off the scooter, scraped on the ground, like on the road quite some distance. And they're injured and on the ground. And there are a lot of people there surrounding this woman but uh no one was necessarily like intervening to help because a lot of them were guys and they didn't want to I guess touch a woman and whatever so uh we were there and we actually I guess we saw that that she was there saw the crowd we went there my mom was with us so she went and um you know helped move her you know some auto driver stopped and this is also happening in india chennai so uh an auto driver stopped didn't ask for any fees my mom and um i guess someone else or just my mom managed like they got her into the auto went to a hospital um got her treatment for the injured woman and we were there until you know her her relatives her family could be contacted and brought over to the to the hospital so i guess that's a a time where my mom's kindness and willingness to help helped help treat as someone who was in an accident. So uh, I know that that was really useful and helpful for them in that moment. Um, I remember their family afterwards when they were in the hospital as them trying to give thanks to us, they were buying me and my brother ice cream because we were little kids. And later on when uh, this woman got married, uh, she invited my mom to the marriage as well. So- Oh, damn. That's amazing. Yeah. Impactful. I feel like yeah. buying ice cream would still work for you. As a kid, yes, that worked. That worked for me, but <laughs> I I didn't do much here. My mom's kindness is what was really impactful in the story. Oh, that that's another aspect, right? The reciprocation of kindness. So even in in my story, it was not always. It was not actually their job to come in and clean the houses, but they did choose to do that because of kindness. They were like, you know what? I'll help you out on this. And they could have just left the place so similar to that the kindness it moves right you pay it forward and uh, that's okay. what she did so she paid it forward by giving you an ice cream inviting you to the function so that's 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 something amazing about yeah. kindness yeah well it was wonderful hearing everyone's stories of kindness and we'll continue our discussion on this week's topic tomorrow See you all then. Oh, you're still here? Well, thanks for getting to the end of the video. Hey, while you're still here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get new updates when we post videos. Also, make sure to check out these equally exciting videos as well. Have you pressed it yet? Come on, you have five seconds left. Three, two, press it now.